Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. It means a lot. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over 10 citrus based niche fragrances that I think are fantastic for the spring and summer. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this top 10 list of fragrances that I think are fantastic for the spring and summer, and these happen to be citrus dominant fragrances, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. So these are fragrances that I have in my collection collection that are fantastic citrus dominant fragrances. I think they're all great for the spring and the summertime. And I also want to mention that a lot of these fragrances are available at fragranceusa.com. I'm going to be linking all of their information down below. And I'm also going to be leaving their Instagram page down below. Definitely make sure to follow them on Instagram. They're always doing some really cool promotions and giveaways. And you know what? I want to do a giveaway here too. For everybody who leaves a comment down below, letting me know which fragrance in this list sounds the most appealing to you, I'm actually going to pick one lucky winner to win three 5ml decans of any fragrances from this list. I am going to be picking the winning comment in one week's time, and I'm going to be pinning it to the top of the comment thread. So definitely make sure to check back into this video in one week to see if you've won, and also make sure to visit Fragrance USA's website. The information is going to be down below. So here I have some fragrances in this list that are a little bit lesser known. I also have some fragrances that are tried and true that I've had for several years now that I have been enjoying thoroughly. And so I wanted to diversify this list a bit, not to make it too expected, but also to spotlight some fragrances that I'm really looking forward to wearing. Of course, if a fragrance comes out, let's say in December of 2020, and it's a citrus based fragrance, I'm more than likely going to hold off on wearing it until the summertime of 2021 or the springtime of 2021, if that makes sense. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is by Navitus Parfum, and this one is called Soleil Matin. Now this is a fragrance where the creative director is Dallas from the channel Chaos Fragrances. And this is an amazing composition by Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome de Marino. It has bergamot, orange, Mexican lime. It has grapefruit. It has a ton of citrus in the opening. It's so bright and refreshing. And then you also have like this ginger like quality in the heart as well. Very uplifting fantastic citrus fragrance and this has one of the strongest citrus notes out of all of the fragrances in this list and so if you really want a fragrance that spends a lot of time and thought and attention in the top and heart notes this one is a really good choice for you the next one by the company Zerzhov, or part of the Zerzhov universe, if you will, but the brand is Casa Morati. This one is called Mephisto Gentiluomo. This one is a very creamy citrus composed by Chris Maurice, otherwise known as Christian Carbonell. And this fragrance also has like this slightly fruity tart apple note in the opening which I find to be really interesting. I don't recall if it's in the note breakdown, but I personally get something a little bit fruity here. So there are some aroma chemicals that are providing a nice balance of the fruits and the citrus notes. The next fragrance that I want to talk about is also by Zerzhov. This one is called Uden Overdose. I'm so glad I picked this up about a year and a half to two years ago when I did because I have been wearing this fragrance a lot and a lot of the people that I have introduced this one to also happen to be a very big fan of it. So this is actually a tobacco based fragrance, believe it or not, but it's so bright and uplifting with these Italian citrus notes in the opening that really make it such a, a likable, bright and refreshing fragrance, despite the fact that it does spotlight a rather darker note, which is the note of tobacco. The next fragrance that I want to talk about is one that I've had in my collection for quite a long time now. This fragrance has been around since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. This one by Roja Parfum is called Elysium. I actually have the Parfum Cologne and I have the stronger concentration of this one as well. In today's video, I'm featuring the Parfum Cologne. I find this one to be very diffusive, very bright and refreshing and energizing. I personally love this fragrance. If you are familiar with this, you know it has a lot of citrus. It has the bright bergamot. It's a little woodsy. It's a little floral as well, but the florals being utilized in here are very, very clean. 
The next fragrance that I want to talk about is a new acquisition of mine, so admittedly so. I haven't worn this one too much, although I have put it on on a number of occasions since I've acquired it. This is Molecule 01 and it's part of the M Plus line, and this is M Plus Mandarin. So basically, Molecule 01, which is ISOE Super, I actually did a interview with Geza Shoen, which is the perfumer for this fragrance. I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. And this one is ISOE Super combined with Mandarin Orange. It's a very bright, refreshing, and uplifting Mandarin that you're gonna get in here. Also very realistic smelling as well. So if you are a fan of orange-based perfumes, definitely check this one out. Whereas I feel like this one might be a little bit more heavy-handed on the bergamot and the lime. This one might be more heavy-handed on the bergamot. This one actually has the Mandarin in there. So just to make that distinction. The next one is one that is both citrusy and fruity, but I definitely think that the citrus fruits in here are quite strong. This one is Greenly by Parfum de Marly. It also has this Hesperides Accord that makes it very bright and fresh. It has a little bit of like this apple vibe in the opening, but this one is much more bright than Mephisto Gentiluomo, which I actually to find leaning a little bit on the creamy, soft, smooth, and subtle side. This one is a lot brighter in my opinion. Two totally different fragrances at the end of the day, uh, but this one is very bright and fruity and it also has this undertone of sweetness on account of a little bit of vanilla that definitely makes it a really interesting composition. The next one that I want to talk about is actually the second bottle that I've acquired of this fragrance and this is the big size. This one by the company Le Labo is called Bergamot 22. So obviously I completely depleted my bottle. Uh, that is one thing with Le Labo fragrances. If you wear the entire fragrance, you can get a 20% discount on a refill. And I have worn this on vacation when I was like going to Florida and on cruises in like 2013, 2014. So I'm quite familiar with this fragrance and it's the most zesty bergamot note that you will likely encounter. It's woodsy at the same time. It's a complex fragrance, but it's so simple in the way that it utilizes ingredients that you're familiar with. It's like, oh, I've smelled this before. I've smelled this citrus before. It's something that brings you back down to nature, connects you with nature, and it's amazing fragrance in my opinion. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is by the company Michael Malou London, and this one is called Visionaire Midnight Blue. This is an awesome citrus-based fragrance. It's so bright and zesty. Now, the original uh, Midnight, uh, the original Visionaire, excuse me, not the Midnight Blue, but the original Visionaire is kind of similar to Trenuit by Armaf, Green Irish Tweed by Creed. It's in that family with the Iris and the Lemon Verbena and the Violet. This one is really all about the citrus. So if you're looking for a fantastic, office-based fragrance, especially one that can be worn in the hotter weather, specifically the spring and the summer, I think this one will do great justice to that. It's an awesome fragrance if you're a fan of citrus. The next one that I want to talk about is by the company Cinque Canto. The perfumer for this fragrance is Paolo Terenzi, and this one is called uh, Isota. I almost get it confused with Psyche, which is another one that I really enjoy, but this one is Isota. This has this citrusy, eucalyptus, camphorous, kind of musky sort of a vibe, but it definitely has the citrus in here, which is very lively, but it's also warm at the same time, which I think is quite different from every other fragrance in this list. You know, this is very bright and zesty. This is very bright and zesty. This here is definitely very bright and zesty, but this almost has a warmth about it, like this musky warmth that I really enjoy. And I know this is a very weak adjective, but I would say it has an antique vibe about it. I don't know how best to explain it, but whenever I spray it on, I just feel like, and not to say that it reminds me of, of a fragrance that would have been released in the 20s, 30s, or 40s or anything like that, but it reminds me of a fragrance that's been locked away and kind of like a secret blend or a recipe that's been locked away for several years and then recently unearthed or uncovered. And there's just something really special and magnetic about it. I'm really having a hard time describing it. I'm kind of at a loss for words, but it's an awesome fragrance. Definitely check out the note breakdown and I hope it's to your liking. And then of course, 
The next fragrance that I want to talk about, which is the last one in this list, these fragrances are not really in any particular order. It's just sort of the order that I put them in. Uh, but this is a fragrance that I discovered last year, and it's one that I told myself once it starts to get warm outside, I'm going to be wearing a lot of this fragrance. And I actually wore through the Travel Atomizer, uh, which I also owned in the past. This one by the brand Veronica Bai is called Vert Desir. This one is this beautiful orange slash citrus and mint combination, which is also creamy. And I actually had a good friend of mine, Chris, from the channel Casual Fragrances, uh, visit a store in Pennsylvania recently. He tried it in person and he also really, really loved it. And so it's an awesome citrus mint combination. Of course, I love my Aqua Decima and I love my Renaissance by Zerzhov. Uh, you know, I love all of these fragrances, but like I said in the beginning of the video, I did want to vary and diversify the list somewhat because I don't want you to hear me talking about the same fragrances over and over, although that would be providing a sense of honesty because those are fragrances that I genuinely love and enjoy. But these are fragrances that I think definitely deserve the spotlight. I hope you have the opportunity to try some of these soon if you haven't already done so. And once again, I do want to thank Fragrance USA for collaborating with me on this video. Definitely make sure to join the giveaway and make sure to follow Fragrance USA on Instagram and also check out their website. All of their information is going to be down below. Fantastic prices on really hard to find niche and designer fragrances. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That These were my top 10 favorite current citrus fragrances for the spring and summer. If you own or have tried any of these fragrances, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And of course, that includes top 10 lists just like this, but also giveaways, reviews, unboxings, and more. Thanks again for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you soon. Bye.